Yeah. Yesterday or this time we came up, we've been up here what a week? <laughs> I don't know. Close to a week. <laughs> I was wondering that myself. Yeah. <laughs> we came up last Wednesday, I think, and we leave. This is Tuesday. Is it? <laughs> Good. So uh, we got log siding on the face here on the porch, which looks really super. Really dresses it up. Uh, cleaned off the porch. It was a total disaster with stuff out here. Uh, so as far as the outside stuff goes, we did. I did work on the outhouse for probably a, I don't know an hour this morning. Yeah. Got some more boarding done. We're running really close on boards, so uh, I'll have to scrounge ground to find enough to do that but my main goal was to get the roof on and get that paper on it so if it rained or snowed uh, that would protect it so till we get the metal to it beautiful got our soffits in soffit the vents, soffits vents in. yeah we didn't uh, have uh i didn't have enough vents yeah. so we got creative and cut a screen yeah That'll keep the mice out, and then in the spring, the, the wasps and everything else, the bugs out of there. And then as far as inside goes, we finished, we finished the ceiling. We finished that gable end wall with V-match, which looks really super duper. Uh, and we had a few boards here, as you can see, left over, so we're going to use, you know, rip that and use it for window trims. We got our stove for oven got in. Our stove in. Oh, we got the couch yeah. in. That was this trip. Yeah, that's right. That was this trip. Comfortable. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a nice wood carrier, wood holder when we come back. Yeah. We're going to have one that goes from right about here to right about here about this high and it'll be a nice nice spot for it yep yep so when we got all that done up there so pretty much the next time i mean we're done working for the winter for the most part yeah for the most part. but the next time you'll work on the outhouse and maybe we can trim the windows and put some window sills in yeah yeah yep. i'd like to put window sills in yep they kind of they look nice and you know yeah oh yeah and then we got a big stuff on. You know, you can set whatever. We got two other big jobs to do. One is this beat that we're gonna bring in one heck of a log to cover up our loft overhang. And then the other big job I'm waiting is it's a little bit out of my pay grade is the electric just hooking up the electrical main panel. Um I didn't want to mess anything up coming this far on the on the build, so I got it all ready for Adam. Buddy ours from Melanocket, and he's just, he said as soon as he gets his deer, he's gonna come up. So Adam, we wish you luck, buddy. I'll come out and drive for you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully Adam doesn't mind either snowmobiling in or coming in after deer season and taking care of that. And then that's pretty much it for the winter. Yeah. I mean, we're good to go now to, to live here. And, and then Donnie's gonna work on cabinets. This winter, this yeah. winter at home, yeah. build them at home and bring them up. Yep, we'll bring them up in the spring. And, and uh, I'll take all my final measurements. I'm coming up with my grandson next week, a weekend after Thanksgiving. So I'll take my final measurements on the cabinets and and have those ready to go when I when I feel. Feel the ambition to stop building. Yep, and I got um my win my winter at home project if I get time. Oh, that'll close. Is uh I'm gonna build the bed frames for for the bedroom in here. So, and then my other project, which I think was gonna be just me, but now it might turn into me and Donnie, or Donnie and I, is the kitchen table. I'm getting a little carried away on that. Yeah, that's, that's going to be something. <laughs> I showed Donnie what I want to do, and he's on board, but it's going to be a it's wicked... It's going to be a major project. It's a major project and a wicked challenge. But right away, uh, lucky for me, he had ideas. So, um, you know, just having someone who knows what they're doing and having ideas like, okay, it can be done. We just got to do it this way or that way. You know, that, that helps a lot, too. Rock that off. 
There's a rock. There's a rock. Yeah, yeah rocks always work. Yeah. There's a primitive hammer. Yeah. All right, guys, that's us signing out, signing off. Uh, really, really, really appreciate the support through the whole build and and the entire project. Can't tell you how much we appreciate all the comments. I know there were the comments weren't always nice. You guys picked on my buddy Stevie way too much. Stevie's a awesome, awesome, top notch, as good as they get guy. You won't find a better guy. He's just a little slow on the job site because he's never done it. He works in an office and, and he's one heck of an office worker. So when he was out here, he did a great job. I don't know why guys were picking on him so bad, but but um, otherwise 99.9% .9 of the comments were awesome and they really helped us. You know, they spur us to work harder and do better job and and to, for me to get the all the content out to you guys, which is not easy when you're building a project and running a business and doing other stuff too. The last thing you want to do is stay up till two, three in the morning editing film, but I do it for you guys because I love you because you guys hit those subscribe buttons and you hit the like, the thumbs up and you guys comment so nicely to Donnie. So that drives me to keep doing it and doing the things I, I like to do for you guys. So really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, just let me know why. Um, I'm just curious in the comments, you know, like what it would take to get someone to to hit that subscribe button. A lot of people let me know when they do, you know, hey, I subscribe because your channel's clean or because you're always doing, you're pushing the envelope with new angles on the camera or flying the drone, getting some cool drone shots like on the rafters and, and, uh, and you know, showing us, inviting us in for breakfast and lunch and dinner, you know, so it's cool to hear you know, what makes people subscribe, but I'd be really interested what makes people not subscribe or unsubscribe. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, just let me know in the comments, um, you know, what we could work on on the channel or what you don't like on the channel and see if there's something, some middle ground there. Um, but if you are, once again, we really appreciate it. Donnie appreciates all the comments and the subscriptions. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's entertaining sometimes to read some of them, and I I love it. Except yeah. the ones about Stevie. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, if it's in a kidding yeah. way, why? That's not harmful. But. Wicked, Donnie and I driving by and looking for a deer for Donnie to plug away at, and I see this truck off the road. Yeah, you can see. I hope he's not hurt. Jeez, he went in the woods pretty far, Donnie. I, so. I hope he's all right. Hope he got out. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Maybe he walked out. Let's see. That is awesome. What is it, Donnie? It's a, on. Could be an old GMC or Chevy. I don't know. That is the cool. Grill, the grill would be the clue. The grill? That is so cool. Oh, yeah, the headlights, too. It'll crank out, probably. I don't know if this was crank out windows. Somebody knows just what this is. Yeah. She's been here a minute. It's got 5,508 5, miles is all it's got. Really? Yeah. In rough shape for 500 miles. What's that back there? There's something yeah. back there. Probably the body. Wicked. Well, I'll be down. Is there any, uh, Wicked running board on it over here. Yeah. VIN number? Probably not, right? No. See, um, it does have a... It's got a, um, a gauge. Pretty cool. Huh. Wicked cool. We ought to have this. I'll be down. Yeah, somebody will be able to tell by that grill. I know it. There's a box spring over here, I think. Maybe it's an old dump. There's a bottle and a box spring over here. Is 
it's yeah it's a bunch of there's a bunch of metal over here What do you think this was? A camp around here somewhere. Yeah. This might have been where they sawed lumber. Yeah. What do you think this was? This has got some wicked steel on it. Look at that steel. Yeah. Heavy duty. Like a ski yeah, on the other side. Plow? Oh yeah, exactly exactly what it was. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, exactly what it was. Yeah. Huh. There's another big wicked chunk of metal right there. Holy cow, bolts and everything. Maybe that's where the old lumber camp was. Look at these chunks of metal. Holy cow. Yep. Wow. Wow. Holy, that's a heavy duty. Yeah, another one right here. Huh. Like for a... Well, I'll be down. I bet there was... Uh, obviously there was something here. Yes, sir. Barrel right there. Huh. Pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Real, real cool like this looks like it was an opening yeah oh yeah definitely yeah you could tell by the trees yeah huh. drove by this 10 times we didn't see it because the because the leaves and stuff there's something pretty big over there to the left too look almost look like a wood stove from here but i, I can't be oh yeah i bet it is you think it is <laughs> They, they wouldn't like a wood stove out. It is a wood stove. For a safe, one or the other. I think it's a cook stove. You think so? I mean, there's metal scattered all through here, Donnie. Wouldn't even be worth metal detecting. Oh my god, it is an old cook stove. You were right. An old cook stove. Yes, sir. What a shame. It's got a name on it and everything. Huh. Drake. Drake. Drake Manufacturing. Friendship Maine, I guess. Really? Well, I can't see the... You'd have to turn that, but it, yeah. it says Friendship. Huh. Drake Manufacturing. Wicked. Yeah. Got that old oval pipe coming out the back that right, they had right hey that's pretty cool yes sir they used rubber right here see it yeah. huh. another bed frame there's the top to the stove right there Wicked. That's cool to know about, huh? Yeah, really. It's a mile and a half from camp because I actually hit the odometer this time. Yeah. We could walk down and dig through some stuff. Yeah, I bet there's some old axes here. Yes, sir. Trouble is, you'd have to dig through so much clad and junk to get to it. Right. Don't you fall in that ditch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my parents would say to me. Really? Oh, and I'd fall right in sideways. <laughs> no, no, I just no? was a, I was a friggin' water magnet as a kid. My parents, oh, I feel so bad for them now. Everywhere I went, I fell in the water. Oh, really? Yep. Ah, oh, good thing there was a vehicle out here that we could get into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>